Radio 84, of course, on Sunday afternoons, goes places and loses things. And this afternoon, we have a special treat for you. Uh, we're uh, in the, uh, what would you call this that we're in, sir? This is what you call the occult, you see. What happens is... Well, you, have you spent many years uh, learning to be an occult person? Many years I have spent. Many years I go to the darkest continents in the world to learn from voodoo and white and the black magic. All these I have learned. Sort of unique for a uh, uh, Russian uh, to do that, isn't it? Uh, well, uh, you can't do it without you got a boat, but... <laughs> don't travel I a lot made all the trips, I tell you that. <laughs> Well, what should I do now? I, uh, I, you know, I'm just we're trying to communicate to our radio audience exactly what it is to uh, become involved in an occult-type uh, seance well, thing. Well, the most important thing you have to remember is you have to control your mind to think about... Think? Think. think? It is very, you can't... As opposed without, to stink. Without think. It, I hope. <laughs> uh, let me move back a little. No, serious. You have got to You have got to control your mind on the object or the person that you want to return. Otherwise... We Do I have to uh, put my hands on the uh, table here? Well, it would be better if you're going to deal. Okay. Uh, we're dealing in the occult, yeah. Oh, I see. That's yes. what I meant, yeah. You can sit in. But I think that would be good, yeah. You keep okay, your hands I up have, there. Matter of fact, don't let them anywhere else because you've got to be careful with your with the cards, are you see. Throw I have your my, my hands now on, on the, uh, the table. table. And uh, what should our radio... Should they put their hands on the radio or... Well, if unless they've got an awfully small set, it would be bad. But if they've got a radio that is big enough to put their hands put on... Put their hands on the radio. In front of a little table <clears throat> that is in front oh, of the radio. Oh, not on the radio. Somebody else has got that one. Well, I don't know where the radio... Maybe it's a borrowed radio. That's not my business. But if they put their hands on any flat surface, turn the light out and think about who they want to bring back. Okay. Now, friends out there in Radio Land, if you will put your hands on the on a radio... Uh, I, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Not on the radio. That's on right. We can't, we can't touch that line. No, I can't. If you will put your hands on a table uh, by your radio and concentrate. Concentrate very, very hard. What are they concentrating on, sir? They are concentrating on bringing back from the beyond a certain poison that they have longed to see for a long time and they want to ask an important question of this person. I see. Okay, well, friends, uh, if you'll just put your hands uh, on that table now and concentrate with us. Uh, concentrate. You concentrate on this poison, whoever this poison is you want to bring back. You want to bring back maybe a brother-in-law. It's very important. I have a brother-in-law I'd like to bring back. I'd like yes. to bring him back. About well, 50 bucks in. $50 into your brother-in-law. <laughs> that, that is interesting, but I'm sorry with personal matters. I don't want to become involved. Yes, except yes. All I do is I recreate your brother-in-law before your very eyes. You is see there anything that I should say? Only what you want to ask him. Ask him a question. Is he your brother-in-law? And he will tell you yes or no. Well, how many if questions he tells do you I no, have? I fire him. What? <laughs> how many questions do I have? Well, I don't know. How, how long, how well do you get along with your brother-in-law? Not very well. Well, you've got a lot of things to ask him. <laughs> okay. Okay, now, I'm, I'm uh, concentrating very hard on my brother-in-law. What was your brother-in-law's first name? Um, it's been a long time. That's a too long. i got to shorten that name. It's been a long time. It's ridiculous. It must be Indian. Uh, uh, Bill. It was, uh, Bill. Bill. Was Bill. That's strange. i got a lot of those. <laughs> Bill. Bill, Come back. What was Bill's last name? Bill, uh, Bill, Bill Johnson. Of I got to know his last name because a lot of Bills are lined up. <laughs> it's a lot of Johnsons too. I didn't make it any easier. What's I have a feeling. That curtain, you wouldn't believe. <laughs> anyway, now right. the lights are out. Your country must be perfect. The silent. lights, the lights just went off. Uh, does that mean anything? Uh, either with somebody's find the switch, or they got tired of waiting for the bill. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm concentrating. I'm sending lights. a check to the mail if you're listening. <laughs> the lights are off. The lights are off. Bill. I, do I say Bill or just think Bill? Call him. You call him to, uh, to your voice a couple times, then I take over for the call. I see. Uh, Bill. Bill. Your turn. This is your brother-in-law. He wants to communicate with you, Bill Johnson. Paging Bill Johnson. Wherever you are, I want you to make an appearance here on the hour of war so that your brother-in-law can ask you an important question. Hey, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's not him. But you're looking at the wrong wall. Oh, the you got a big crowd here, and other people are looking for people. <laughs> that was a nude, actually. I have a very strange office here. He's wearing right a mask. <laughs> what right. wall are you the concentrating other wall. on? <laughs> I'm on the other wall now. Peter, you turned around, you're on the other wall. <laughs> I work on this wall now. Bill Johnson, this brother in your law of yours seems to completely lack control. I'm trying to get through to you. This man wants to talk to you. Here, look at that. Look, you see those two? You see those two movements there? That those are eyeballs. And, and I'm serious. 
the blinking. I wish you were. Uh, because we're messing up the whole thing. I only got this room for a couple of hours. 